Oh, and I forgot to mention to you guys, how could I forget this? The Florida Gators, the Florida Gators, they are set to host none other than Miami's former offensive lineman, John Campbell. Yes, John Campbell is just out here doing all kind of ridiculous stuff. We saw him do the visit at Florida State with all the get with all the Florida State stuff on, and now he's about to go do the same on January 5th through the 6th at the Florida Gators. This man cannot be trusted. This man cannot be trusted. Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe. Man, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, man. Gang. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. My Florida State Seminole fans. And last but not least, my Florida Gator fans. Them baby lizards up in Gainesville. Just a quick, quick, quick couple updates for you guys. Just a couple updates. Um, not going to hold you too long. But um, do me a huge favor, guys. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with a friend. Um, yes, I'm doing the big three. I'm doing all three of the Florida teams. Um, you know, depending on how UCF want to act, maybe in a year or so. I'll, I'll bring them in too. But for now, Florida State, Miami, and uh, Florida Gators. Let's go. So, um, Florida State, let's start with y'all. Let's start with y'all. So, I'm reading the headlines that basically Arkansas will take away Marcus Woodson from Florida State. Yes, their DB coach. Moving on, um, Florida State fans, they're already telling lies about the man. Talking about some, he was going to get fired. He can't recruit. And, um, this, that, and the third about the man, like he wasn't their best coach on the staff. That Mark Marcus Woodson was definitely Florida State's best coach. You can't prove that. You, can, you, you cannot convince me otherwise. But um, win win for both sides. Woodson goes to Arkansas, get a better title, more money. FSU makes a uh, move without having to fire anyone. So that is from your boy Josh um, Newberg. You know. Used to um he used to suck the Seminoles off when he was working for um Knowles 247 allegedly. <laughs> That's tough. Um yeah man um let's move on from that. Let's get to the next headline. So Florida State, once again, Florida State, this is some more Florida State news. They seem to be in the news lately. So Tra Jordan Travis, Jordan Travis, their quarterback, running back at quarterback, defensive end, could play tight end, you you name it, you know. This guy was rated as the 91.8, um, you know, quarterback, I guess, in the bowl game or throughout the whole year. So, number one quarterback in the F FBS. Hey, do, do this sound like, um, does this sound familiar to you guys? It seems like Florida State is doing this year what we did with Tyler Van Dyke last year. Now, I must give Florida State a little bit of credit. They actually got a coaching staff that's going into their fourth year. So, might be a little bit different. They don't have to switch up the offense and all that stuff. We don't, you know, we don't go from um, uh, Red Lashley to uh, Josh Gaddis. They don't. They're not doing that. So, might might be a little bit better for him. Um, they're already predicting that he might be a husband. Nope, not gonna happen. Um, let's let's move on to the next story. All right. So I got a letter here for you guys. Now bear with me because this is in some fine print. But Antonio uh, Moultrie will be um, entering the NFL draft from the Miami Hurricanes. So Moultrie um, basically, you know, came in from UAB, transferred in. So first and foremost, I will give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, make sure you guys get here, because last time, you know, I messed this up. Um, uh, my ability to play the game that I love and provide with every um, opportunity in this position to my parents thank you for all the love and support you've given me um both have um always been there by my side through the good bad um highs and the lows i could not um ask for more loving and support from um, parents to my brother and my family i love to um uh, i love and thank and thank you all along um, from the bottom of my heart you all um have been there for Every step of my way, your support kept my um, faith strong and my will even stronger. I'm truly um, thankful for your support and for your love and support. Um, to my coaches, teammates, thank you for all your leadership, friendship, and memories. Um, the bonds that we um, will always be cherished. All right. Having said this, 
I am excited to announce that I will be pursuing my lifelong dream of playing football in the NFL and declaring for the 2023 NFL Draft. Um, 44 out, number 44 for the Miami Hurricanes. Um, go Blazers, go, go Canes. So basically, like I said, transferred in from UAB, um, Antonio Moultrie in the transfer portal. Not transfer portal, I'm so, I'm so used to saying transfer portal. NFL draft. Now, um, another quick quick update for you guys. Quick update. This one involves both the Miami Hurricanes and the Florida Gators. We got most transfers out. So, above the list at 27. 27 transfers as of right now. Texas A&M. Texas A&M. Jimbo Fisher. Um, Florida comes in second place with 22. Arkansas comes in third. Well, tied with Florida with 22. Arizona has 20, um, Jackson State, 18, Miami, 18, Stanford, 17, Cal, 16, Ole Miss, 16, Oregon, 16, and to top it off, Arizona State, 16. Yep, so there you news, guys. Like, share, subscribe, T2I, I'm out. Oh!